Another Fly High for Fun production. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be doing a flat tire repair on my E300, 3000 watt hub motor. Yesterday I just installed it, went out for a ride. Of course the dreaded tire flat right in the middle of my ride. So just want to make a quick video, show you guys uh, what I'm going to do to try to repair this tire. Alright, first things first, we're going to get these bolts loosened up here. <clears throat> We're gonna get this hub motor taken off and we're gonna dive in here. Uh, looks like there's some Allen keys here needed to get this going. Uh, looks like we have our inner tube thing here. So we're just gonna kinda, when we go through this, we're gonna mark the location where this inner tube valve is and we're gonna try to go through it and see if we can see actually where the puncture was at on the tire in relation to the inner tube. So like, did it go flat, catch a flat and the inside part where the you know here where the tire hits the road or is it on the side or what so that's what we're going to be looking at Here's the tools we're going to use here is our allen keys and uh let's get started all right let me go ahead and lift this off i believe if i just turn this to the side here i'm able to <clears throat> prop this up and at this point, um, now have access to the Allen keys. There's two sets of screws here, Allen, Allen screws. There's one that are further down here at the bottom. This one here, or do you have the one on the top? So I believe I'm gonna try to go for the ones in the middle. All right, so I just marked the tire there just so we can mark it with the stem valve and I'm getting ready to go ahead and pull this apart. All right, so I found out it's a four millimeter. Allen key they appear to be coming out of here pretty pretty easy got all the screws loose in there looks like if I lift up on this should be coming out of here pretty easy set off and I may as well take this nut off with these washers too so All right, so it looks like we got all six of those screws out. Let's go ahead and set these screws to the side. Now I'll go ahead and lift up on this and see if I can get some clearance. This thing feels fairly loose, like it's ready to come off. So we're gonna go ahead now and take the wheel off slowly. So this is what we have. Just come straight off the hub. Looks like there's a little styrofoam there inside from the probably when it was shipped. Let's go ahead and get that out of there. All right, we should be good to go. So as I start to look at this tire, let me go ahead and get the rest of these screws out just so we don't lose them. As I look at this tire and rotate it towards the back, the first thing I notice is the inner tube is kind of cocked right here. A little bit bent, folded in there, right, right where the nipple is. Nipple goes in here, it's a little bit folded over. So just gonna rotate the tire and I should be able to pull this right off like that. So you have this solid piece, then you have the inner tube that's in the tire. So let's find out what's going on, guys. Find out why we got the flat yesterday. I will go ahead and try to keep this, uh, as you can see, the line is lined up with the, the tube. So we'll get an idea when, once we pump this up with air where the actual puncture occurred. So we can find out what's going on here. So let me go ahead and... Set this off and then get grab the air pump and then we'll get we'll get the check. Okay, so I got the inner tube out and the first thing I notice here is that this inner tube is one one zero. That's a one ten slash fifty, 
dash 6.5 that's what i'm seeing there as far as the rim size or excuse me the inner tube top size that's been put in here the inner tube looks fairly big compared to the actual tire and that the tire here is a 100 slash 65 dash 6.5 um that's what we have here and i'm not sure if that's a difference in the inner tube size but i'm just taking a look tire is pretty good quality i mean it's solid it's firm um i'm looking on the inside of here looking for anything that protruded through to see if maybe there's like a nail or something of sort uh that caused actually caused the flat but i really can't see anything there uh anyway so let me just take a thorough look and we'll take a quick di deep dive in and see um everything that i'm seeing right now up to this point kind of points to maybe this was a pinch flat but we won't know that until we put air in so let's check it all right so we got the air pump here and i'm just gonna apply a little bit of wow if you guys can see that the stem is located here and the cut is right back here let me get it up closer so you guys can see just give it a little bit of air i don't know if you guys can see that it's right there it's ripped so that that's a pretty good cut pretty big doggone hole there so something actually punctured it and i don't believe that that happened from road debris i believe that was more like a side like a pinch from the inside of the rim so we're gonna see if i can fix that uh i'm gonna go ahead and patch this tire up i have some patch tire repair we're gonna get some rubber cement glue on there clean that up we're going to get this patched up. I'm going to try to see if I can use this inner tube again. I don't have any of these inner tubes at this size. So I guess I will go ahead and order a few just in case just to have on board on deck in case something should happen. But yeah, that's what I found out, guys. All right. So <clears throat> we're going to uh, get this tire patched up. I think the first thing I want to do here is clean up the area. Uh, with some rubbing alcohol, cleaned up, and I think what I will do is take the inner tube valve out so I can have a flat tire with no air in it. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and put my mark back on there. Just so we know where it is. It's easy, easily, uh, easily can be lost. Again, that's about the rip. It's pretty big. All right, so there's a scraper here. Let's go ahead and rough this area up. Sure you guys have fixed plenty of flats before this is just my version basically want to rough this area up like so so we can get the patch to adhere to this area pretty good let's go ahead and get the glue down on that okay so you pretty much got the patch patched on there and I just kind of use something to smooth it out next thing you want to check is you want to see if the patch is adhering to the if it's adhering to the area and not peeling off and it looks like it is so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and inflate this and then we'll check it for other holes to make sure we don't have any other pinches. All right, so let's go ahead and get some air in this tire. See if we patched it up. Let's 
Should be pretty good. Got a good. Ten in there. All right, that's what our patch is looking like. Looks like the uh, plastic just peeled itself off. Uh, other than that, it's like a pretty good, solid uh, patch job. So let's go ahead and check it underwater. Not seeing too many. Air bubbles is what I'm actually looking for. Yep, none there. Let's get over here to the patch and see. Nope. Okay, we're down underneath the patch. Right there on the edge here. Don't see any air bubbles. Let's check the stem. No water. No, I mean, no air bubbles. Okay, we look like we're in the clear here, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and deflate the air out of this and uh, get this back, put inside the tire so we can get it mounted up, get it on the road. So <clears throat> I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna put a little bit of sealant in this tire. I hate doing flats and this thing literally just like blew out on me. I've been having flats, problem with flats. The whole time since I've been riding hard with these motors. So we're going to use a little bit of slime. Get that in the tire. Get this prepped up. Say so probably about two. Two ounces of this. Two or three ounces of this would be good. Go ahead and get this stem back in here. And then we'll get this over to the wheel. And get it mounted up. All right, guys. I've never done this before. Just want to give you guys a, my quick disclaimer on this. This is something I saw on YouTube. Somebody used a noodle. Used that to protect the inside of their tire. It was supposed to have somehow worked. So I'm going to just try it out and see if it works. What I've done is I've cut out a little bit of yoga mat. It's about six millimeters thick. It conformed to the inside of this pretty well. We're going to go ahead and try to get our inner tube inside this and then get this thing mounted up. We'll see how that works. I'm just really just having a big fuss with trying to actually get this back in here. And what I'm, what I'm noticing is that I think the tube was kind of a little bit too big. I don't know, maybe just a tad bit. And so I'm wrestling with trying to get these things to go in here smoothly because I see there's a groove here and as I'm getting ready to put this back together. There could be some friction going on when this, when this inner tube expands. So just trying to sort this out. So just back at it, just kind of some, I don't know what's, uh, something's coming to my mind is saying, like, let's go ahead and inflate this tire up just a bit. I don't know why I'm thinking that. I think I want to do that to see how this is gonna pop into place. Let me see if how this goes. All right, so just kind of like put that back together. We're getting ready to put some uh, medium Loctite on the threads. Get this thing put back together, get some air in it, and see how this works. All right, so just paid close attention to the dropout in the back. Got that in there. I'm not actually using the hooks on this. Um, I got a couple good washers on here, and I believe this is pretty. It's going to be pretty tight on both sides, so maybe in the future, I'll probably make a way to use the washer that locks it in, the little lock washers. Maybe even throw an extra lock washer on. There appears to be a little bit more axle on this side than this side. But there you have it. Put back in, tire's been changed. We're gonna inflate it, test it out. All right, so I had an issue because of where this valve is located. I actually wanted to use my bike pump. I knew it would've got the job done. But because this doggone stem 
It's so short. It won't allow me to get this thing in there. So I had to go actually with this little bike pump here. This is what I use for my little, uh, my shock. I have a rock shock bike shock. I use that to pump this with. So I definitely didn't have any time for that. So I had to bring in the big guns. So now that I got this in here, inflated, now I'm afraid there's too much air in here. So now I have to figure out how I can get over that. Maybe if I use this, I can get a gauge on if there's at least 20 in there. Let's check it out. I'd say we got about a good 20 in there. All right, well, managed to get through that project. Uh, it was a wonderful uh, experience going through that, fixing that flat. Uh, I guess tomorrow we'll just wait and we'll go test it out. So just want to say thanks to you guys for watching my video. Appreciate all the support I'm getting from this group. Thank you.